hey, in this video, I'm going to walk you through the, the benefits and the negatives I see in KeywordSearch.com's YouTube search tool, which is basically a keyword planner for, uh, for YouTube videos and uh, accessing and strategizing how to, how to make the most of your YouTube account. So let's start here real quick. Um, they do offer a free trial. Now, basically what this is, is a, I'm not going to do this. It's a seven day free trial. Um, however, they do require a credit card and from there you will be charged $99 a month. Um, what we do find in here is a keyword search, channel search, similar keywords, collections, video search, and audience targeting. So I'm going to take you in the back end because I do have an account set up and we're going to walk through all those things. And really what we're going to start with is just a general keyword search. Um, in the, the, I guess on the website, they do offer kind of a, uh, a video somewhere down here. Um, where uh, they kind of walk you through uh, some keyword searches and the like, and I'm not sure where it is, but um, it doesn't even matter because we're going to talk about it right now. So what they do is they focus on weight loss, and they'll uh, it does take a few seconds, but they'll show you some really good data for something um, as popular as weight loss, which is very effective at, uh, at finding information. Um, and I guess what we can do is try and compare and contrast it versus other tools that are out there that I think are, uh, are pretty flexible. So one of the benefits for sure is the, um, the ability to provide related keywords uh, relevant to your initial search term, um, like exercise at home, loss workout, all this stuff. Um, they, they do give you kind of a generalized um, monthly search volume. They show you a trends bar and there's a lot of capabilities as far as downloading lists, copying the clipboard and the like. Um, but what I want to kind of start with is um, this is a lot of great information for a very broad keyword. But what we find is that it's not always going to be something as specific as, as that. So. Um, a lot of people that go onto YouTube are going to be um, looking for something a lot more specific and therefore they're not going to find um, kind of that information uh, in, in the first place. So let's instead look at something more, uh, more specific, uh, especially in our business uh, where we deal with a lot of, um, a lot of videos, and a lot of content creation and trying to get people to convert. So let's look at uh, conversion rate optimization. I can type that'd be great so again what we'll do is we'll we'll do the search process but I want to do is, is kind of pinpoint how different the results are when we get a little bit more specific um, there are opportunities to do an, uh, an advanced search where you can exclude keywords which is obviously valuable uh, but I do want to kind of just walk you through that we are not going to see trends as often here and that to me is a um, is, is a pretty important thing now these are uh, keywords that are related to they do offer uh, similar keywords and they do offer a similarity score which i think is very valuable to kind of get a feeling for you know how similar is your keyword conversion rate shopify and checkout optimization are in my point in my opinion kind of uh, pretty relevant but they maybe not are maybe not as relevant as you know con conversion rate optimization definition so once we do have our keywords that we want to start to look for um, it is important to kind of to have this monthly search volume which I think is, is super valuable but let's compare it with com something that's um, you know again pretty relevant um, another tool uh, would be in, in my opinion um, working with um, vidIQ. So again, we're going to just take a keyword like this. It's conversion rate optimization. We're looking at about 1,100 monthly searches. So we're going to do that same search here. And we're going to see a very significant difference in search volume. So um, I would assume that there's probably not this many searches on that general keyword, but let's take it even, even further and go back and see conversion rate optimization tips and see how it compares. So I'll, I'll do a quick look and see if we can find tips, but uh, there we go. So um, conversion rate optimization tips, we're looking at about 1,000 uh, versus, again, 1,500. So that gets a little bit closer, uh, but you know, again, the, the benefit here is I get to see immediately how competitive these keywords are. Um, and again, this is kind of their free, free tool. I'm not even paying for this yet um, versus this being a paid tool. 
So I think, again, the, the volumes amounts are, are, are pretty huge. Uh, as you can tell, uh, it, it does a, a decent job of showing me some other, other scores um, here, but this one does, a, I think, a, a better job of giving me potential uh, search volumes, and I think that uh, that works out pretty well. So another cool benefit, um, once we know what our searches are, and it, let's just say we want to dig in a little bit bit further and we say, hey, you know what, tips isn't a bad idea. So I can make that my core keyword. I can uh, click here and say open up YouTube search results, which we'll do. Um, and that will open up a completely new tab that shows me exactly what conversion rate optimization tips are and what's ranking um, you know, for those particular keywords, uh, which I think is super valuable. But going back, let's uh, let's make that our core keyword. It'll open up a brand new tab, and we can do uh, again that same type of search. And now we have conversion rate optimization tips, and we can get a pretty uh, pretty pretty good idea of what the trends are, even though it's completely out of order. Now again, this is a problem to me where we go from June twentieth to January twenty first, and then all of a sudden June twentieth uh, or twenty twenty one is there. Um, you know, we'll see 20, 20, 21, 21, 21, 21, 20. And so there's really no rhyme or reason to the way they do that. So I, I'm not a really big fan of that. Um, but then again, we do get a, uh, you know, a, an idea of average monthly search volumes on, uh, on some keywords that are super relevant. Um, and then we do the similar keywords as well as the, the similar keyword score. So let's just say I'm building up a, um, a, a YouTube account and I'm looking to target a video based on this. Uh, so one of the cool things that you can do is say, hey, you know what, I'm going to fill my tags with, uh, with some of these keywords. And so let's just go with those. Um, it's a very simple copy to, to, to clipboard. We can uh, download a list or we can add a collection. So what we can do is just create a completely brand new list if we want to come back to it later. Um, another great feature. All right, so with video uh, placement search, which is going to be our videos, now that the, the benefit here is really specific to ads. If I'm going to be doing any kind of YouTube ads, um, really what I would do is, again, go to our core keyword, conversion rate optimization tips. And what this will do is okay, it's very similar to uh, you know finding kind of what, what videos are, are ranking. It is going to show me a list of the uh, videos that are going to be ranking in their positions. Um, now, the benefit here is I get to not only see how many views, which I think is super valuable, on each one of those videos pretty darn quickly, um, but I can also see what the title information is, what the description information is, and uh, just the same. Again, I can click on all those and I can keep scrolling down, um, let it load more videos. Uh, and eventually, I think this will get up to like 600 videos or something like that. Um, it just takes a little bit while, a little bit longer than uh, than I'm going to make you wait here. Um, but what I would do is literally just copy this. I can either download the list or copy it to clipboard, and then I go right into my Google Ads account, and I can use that for placement targeting, which is again very valuable if you are going to be doing any kind of YouTube YouTube ads. All right, so channels, we're going to do some, you know, again the same thing. Uh, optimization tips and again one of the one of the drawbacks is obviously sitting in front of your computer while this loads the latest data um, but it's really you know as, as demonstrated in this video we're not really going to be sitting there too long and waiting too long to deal with it um, but we will wait while this this loads all right, so this kind of uh, is not really doing a great job right now. What it's supposed to do is kind of show me exactly who ranks where um, for these keywords, and it looks like Neil Patel and Marketing 360 kind of dominate. Um, but once we get beyond numbers one and two in the ranking, what we will find is um, channel keywords for those particular channels, um, a list of, uh, there we go, uh, channel topics, the total number of views for the actual channel, uh, number of subscribers. Um, this says channels, but it's really how many videos they have. Um, and again, a full on website, or I'm sorry, channel description. So again, if you're creating a channel based on conversion rate optimization, obviously what you would wanna do is mar mimic uh, Marketing 360 and Neil Patel because they have so many videos that are relevant and related to that and that, that rank for that. So what I did um, in, in using this um, was I created a video that uh, you, you are not watching now, but uh, basically I, I pieced it together based on you know, keywords that I thought were relevant. Um, it is a 22-minute 20, 20, uh, video, and I'll link to it um, at the end of this. 
Um, but really what it allowed me to do is kind of quickly figure out um, what keywords that I wanted to rank for and get ranked in decent positions for a couple of these keywords, um, something that I necessarily might not have necessarily been able to do or figure out um, if I wasn't using this keyword search tool to figure out other keywords that are relevant and, uh, and, and that are easier to rank for. Now what it doesn't do a very good job of, again, is giving you a competition score. I think that would be va very valuable. Um, that would really make me happy to pay $99 a month if I could see exactly what the monthly competition ser search um, or I'm sorry, the monthly search volume was and a competition score. Uh, that would allow me to kind of quickly and easily target um, different keywords that, uh, that might be, uh, be, again, easy to rank for and, uh, and create videos specific to that. Um, good for monetization, good for conversions, uh, all those things. But in the meantime, you know, this is a pretty good tool. And so one other thing I wanted to add was uh, I just, let me type this in because uh, I can't walk and talk at the same time. Um, one of the tools that I, that I recommend for sure is going to be um, KW Finder or Keyword Finder. Um, now this is generally for Google and Bing and the like. Um, but what it will do is tell me kind of generally how many searches are there, there are on the uh, on Google. Um, and again, just going back, this looks like there's about 90 per month. Um, one of the benefits here is it does give me an overall keyword difficulty score, which I think is super valuable. It tells me who's ranking um, in those positions on um, on Google again. So this is going to be very different than a, a YouTube search. Uh, this is going to be a Google search. But I do want to point out that you know 90 searches a month versus uh, you know again what we were looking at uh, here with the tips um, or were we uh, about a thousand a month uh, there's a significant difference in the number um, I'm not sure exactly what the answer is about which one is accurate uh, obviously there are two different uh, search engines YouTube and uh, and Google but um, to have such dramatically different results is uh, is puzzling so I'd love to hear what you th you think and uh, how you uh, how you like it but by far the best YouTube search tool uh, keyword planning tool uh, that, that's out there is uh, keywordsearch.com. I highly recommend it. And uh, if you do um, want to take advantage of this, I'm going to have the link below and I'm going to offer a special, uh, special deal if you do sign up through my link.